The farm is called Bardo. What does Bardo mean? So Bardo is a Tibetan word, and it means between lives. So, and that was the original idea for the, it's not an alternative school, but um, when you die, if you're Tibetan, that's the time, between the time you die and the time you're born again, that's the time when you can make the most spiritual progress because there's no demands on you. You don't have to pay the mortgage. You don't have to worry about, you know, your children, material, your material stuff, the relationships. That's all behind you. You can actually advance in your understanding of things, and then you come back and play again. And so our idea was that there, we knew a lot of people through Neil and Emily who were, um, as they say, you know, they're climbing the ladder and it's against the wrong wall. And they were in a position where, you know, one of the things they could do would be just drop what they're doing, get rid of all their shit. Um, can we say shit? Can we, say shit? <laughs> <laughs> we can now. So the, uh, no, oh, you guys for real? Come on. It's the George Carlin rules. <laughs> so, anyways, get rid of their stuff, get rid of their encumbrances, encumbrances, and um, start over. And our idea was we would help them figure out well, what should you be doing with your life. And you get started with that, and the capitalist bent was. And then you go and you do that thing, and you pay us some percentage of what you make for a while. And that would fund the next people coming through. But that's, so Bardo is a place where you're sort of stopped. You have no paused. momentum. Paused is how we paused. talked about you're it, right? Paused, yeah. you have no momentum. And so you can actually, it's sort of like you think of an oil tanker. An oil tanker's moving, and it wants to turn. That's a big effort. But if you actually bring it to the point where it's not moving, then it can turn any direction it wants and start. And so 